You've probably heard or read that HUD is taking a close look at sales practice that allows advertisers on Facebook, the social network, to include or exclude people who have an affinity with specific ethnic groups. The federal agency that enforces the nation's fair housing laws said it's in discussions with Facebook to address what it termed as serious concerns about their advertising practices. So if you don't already know what this means, let's take a look and unpack it. If you create a Facebook ad for a listing or service, you can create a custom audience. When creating a custom audience, one of the categories you see is called demographics. If you open up the drop down menu, you can select criteria of education level, ethnic affinity, financial, generational, and etc. If you select ethnic affinity and exclude any groups such as African Americans, Hispanics, or Asian Americans, you may be in violation of the fair housing laws. This tool is being looked at by HUD. It's being looked at by HUD as a tool that may allow users to discriminate in housing advertisements. Facebook's advertising policies will be examined by HUD's Office of Fair Housing and Equal Opportunity. The moral of the story, if you're posting Facebook ads, avoid using the ethnic affinity in creating your audience or you might get a phone call you don't want. Now for minding your own business. Your marketing is the first opportunity to disqualify a prospect's other options. The rule of thumb is to never negotiate from a position of weakness. The one with the power is whoever holds more options, so you want to take away the consumer's options so they'll only see you as their one and only choice. How do you do that? Well, with a strong marketing message, of course. Here are the five cardinal rules of marketing that can help you be the first and hopefully the only choice. Number one, be first rather than better. Be prepared with a marketing campaign that will show prospects you're ahead of your competition. Number two, don't usurp yourself as the product. The major reason anyone chooses you as their agent has nothing to do with the company you work for, but because of what you do and who you are first and foremost. Number three, show the difference you can make. Don't try to convince prospects that you're better than the competition. Show them you're different. You're way above the competition at the end of the day. Number four, don't depend on any one method. Remember the rate of return on individual marketing methods is rarely linear. Some work better at certain times than others. So combining methods can help you catch the upswing on multiple fronts. Number five, be consistent not obnoxious. Don't harass people. Human beings forget a message in 16 days. That should tell you something about how often you need to reiterate your message to the people you're targeting. You need to follow up. Not so often it becomes obnoxious and out of this world, but not so infrequently that it loses impact. Marketing to your past clients has a much lower risk of turning them off. And remember, space repetition is good and it takes more time and money to get your message across to a stranger. So take a different approach with each segment and use your past clients to spread your message and consistently follow up with the leads that they bring you. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week and have a great day.